What's happening everyone? I was set up for a challenge. A friend reached out and asked if I could do a holiday dessert that they can do on a barbecue or a smoker to free up room in the kitchen. And I got a dump cake just for you. It is a apple cinnamon dump cake. Absolutely amazing with crumble and we're gonna do it on the smoker. Don't get me wrong, you can also do it on a barbecue. Not on direct heat, but you can do it on the barbecue. But for today, we're gonna do it on the smoker. So let's get started. First things first, kick this bad boy on and crank it up to 375. And let it warm up. All right, we're back inside and the smoker's going at 375. We're gonna let that warm up so you don't have any smoke flavor on this recipe. Now I'm gonna show you how to make your apple cinnamon dump cake. It's an actual apple cinnamon crumble dump cake, but that's just a lot to say. So here's the ingredients. It's super easy. Check it out. First things first, is the box of cake mix or muffin mix apple it's the cinnamon swirl inside this box you get the cake mix and the cinnamon crumble topping that's the good stuff i wrote in ahead and taken it out of the box you need two cans of apple pie film filling you need one stick or eight tablespoons of melted butter and you need four tablespoons of thinly sliced butter, nine by 13 pan, and something to coat the pan with nonstick spray. So let's get started, and I'll show you how easy it is. Okay, the first thing you wanna do, nonstick spray. Second thing, pie filling. That one has one left, there you go. Sweet. You wanna take it and flatten them all out, get them kind of spread evenly across the bottom of the pan. There it is, yeah. The filling already has a little cinnamon and spices in there, but with the cinnamon swirl cake it's just so much better okay your cake filling open that sucker up and evenly spread it just that's why it's called dumb cake you just kind of dump it on there Spread it around. Get the happiness everywhere. Easy. If you have clumps, you can just go through and kind of take your finger and break up some of the big clumps. You don't really need to do a lot. Your one stick of melted butter, take it, just drizzle it over everything. You want to spread this around as much as possible. Don't pull it up and dump it in one spot. I made the mistake once and did that. Not a good idea. The idea is to kind of spread the wealth, know what I mean? Now once that is on there, that extra brown of cinnamon and happiness, I wanna go ahead and open that bag. This bag smells so good. Now this is a little harder to spread. 
because it is brown sugar and cinnamon. So you might have to use your hands a little bit and get them dirty, but it is worth it. You want to sprinkle that as much as you can all over. If you try to dump it out of the bag, it's just a big clumpy mess. It doesn't work out very well. Again, I did that through trial and error. Learn from my mistakes. You'll already notice that this is going to smell really good. Really good. Spreading a little happiness. There we go. So remember, this is an easy recipe. You need one cake mix box of the cement cake swirl, two cans of the apple pie filling, a nine by 13 can, uh, I mean pan, and you're gonna need one stick of butter completely melted and a half stick thinly sliced. And the thinly sliced piece Try to spread out as much as possible. Yeah. It's going to be awesome no matter what. Take a look. At this point, it's ready to go in the smoker or on the barbecue. Or if you want to do it in the oven, you can do it in the oven in the kitchen at 375. It's going to be going in the oven, the barbecue, or the smoker for... 45 minutes at 375 degrees. But remember, if you do it on the barbecue, do it on indirect heat because you'll burn the crap out of the bottom. On the smoker, it's a little easier because you don't have a direct heat source on the bottom. Find the spot that you know your barbecue and you know your smoker. Find the spot that you know that usually keeps the most consistent temperature. Put it in that spot. 45 minutes later, come back and check it. Toothpick it. You'll know when the, the breading and the crust and the cake mix is done. So I'm going to wash up, go check the smoker, and we're going to toss it in. It's going in the smoker. Mental note. Remember to put pellets in the smoker. Just saying. All right. Let's load this sucker in. We will check back in on it in 45 minutes. All right, it's time. It's been 45 minutes. Now it's time to crack this bad boy open and see what it looks like. Let's check it out. Yeah. Look at that. Absolutely amazing. All right, we're gonna pull this thing out and I'm gonna let it sit for at least 20 minutes and let it cool because that's going to be some molten lava inside just a heads up and then we'll cut into this sucker those are the people i'll be feeding okay <laughs> it has been 20 minutes and it is finally cooled so we're going to dip into this and spoon it out and see what it looks like let's take a look all right, put this on the stand, and here we go.
Look at that. That is some happiness. So, very easy, very simple apple cinnamon dump cake. Now, all we gotta do is eat it. So, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll be posting more of this over the holiday season. Enjoy.